some common diseases jaundice and hepatitis all of us are prone to various types of infectious diseases let us discuss some of the more common diseases that we encounter in our country jaundice is a prevalent disease seen in India it occurs due to the accumulation of a yellow colored pigment known as bilirubin in the blood and tissues bilirubin is formed from hemoglobin when old and worn out red blood cells are destroyed in the liver bilirubin is thus secreted into the bile fluid by the liver cells or hepatocytes bile flows from the liver into the gall bladder where it gets concentrated and stored during digestion bile is secreted into the duodenum bile is required for the emulsification and digestion of lipids during the process of digestion taking place in the intestine along with the digested food bilirubin is absorbed into the blood from the small intestine from the blood bilirubin is extracted by the kidney and is excreted through the urine the yellow color of the urine is due to the presence of bilirubin and its metabolites jaundice can occur because of various reasons it may occur due to excessive production of bilirubin which occurs in some diseases due to the destruction of a large number of red blood cells in the liver jaundice may also be the result of the obstruction to the flow of the bile this may occur when the bile is flowing from the liver to the gall bladder or from the gall bladder to the intestine it generally happens when stones are formed in the gall bladder another cause of jaundice may be improper functioning or death of the liver cells this normally happens when the person is infected with the hepatitis virus there are several types of hepatitis viruses like hepatitis A hepatitis B hepatitis D hepatitis E hepatitis F and hepatitis G every year the hepatitis virus affects about 200 million people all over the world in infants this virus is transmitted from the mother to the child during childbirth it can also be transmitted through food water and milk the transmission of the hepatitis virus can also occur during blood transfusion or when the same syringe or needle are used for administering injections to a large number of people this situation is more common in the rural areas more than 30 percent of the population in our country is a carrier of the hepatitis virus this virus plays a major role in damaging liver cells other reasons for improper functioning of liver cells are intake of food contaminated with hepatotoxins that is poisons that damage liver cells drugs that damage liver cells lack of proper nutrition and alcohol consumption there are some common symptoms seen in patients suffering from jaundice one of the major symptoms is the skin white of the eye and urine turning yellowish in color lack of appetite flatulence constipation tenderness in the region of the liver and an increase in the blood levels of bilirubin are some of the other symptoms of jaundice there is no specific treatment for jaundice except general care to be taken by the patient the patient must be given strict bed rest and kept under constant observation of the doctor utensils and clothes being used by the patient should be kept as well as washed separately small quantities of food including plenty of fluids fruit juices foods rich in glucose and maltose need to be given to the patient at a time 
the patient should be fed food rich in calories such as rice bread etc tea coffee spices and fried foods should be avoided before giving blood transfusion the donor's blood should be tested for the presence of the hepatitis virus also injection needles and syringes must be changed for every injection for a long time there was no specific method to treat hepatitis a vaccine against hepatitis b virus was imported from other countries but was rarely used due to its high cost later a team of scientists in hyderabad devised a method to prepare this vaccine at a low cost the vaccine is now available to the public at a low price and massive immunization programs are being conducted all over the state